back with part two of the multi-mode gate demo. This time we're going to talk about the DC and resonance inputs. We'll do a couple fun basic patches and then get into some more complex patching that lets us use all modes of the MMG at once. Here's a quick example of how the MMG responds to faster modulation sources. Because of the lag associated with the vectoral response of the CVNs, it's not ideal for audio rate FM, but you can still get good results from fast complicated envelopes and things like that. Here the only modulation source is a complex envelope. You can hear the results more clearly with a little resonance. And if we use a derivative of the same envelope to control the Q level, we get nice results too. The back drills help with the chirpy response here. Here's a patch that utilizes the DC input and the QCVN. What we're hearing is a complex wave from the cycle box. DCN is getting a relatively fast cycling envelope, which causes the positive portion of the audio wave to clamp periodically. You can visualize the behavior with the overload LED, which lights up whenever the wave runs out of headroom. The level of the ACN gain control makes a big difference in the amount of clamping as well as in the overall volume. When resonance is high, the effect is much more pronounced. Here's a much slower LFO CVing the resonance for a sort of cicada effect. With the mode switched to high pass and the mode CV knob turned all the way counterclockwise, you get a relatively full spectrum sound throughout the frequency range since it's high pass at the bottom and low pass at the top. But there's still a nice subtle character to a filter sweep, especially with a small amount of resonance added. It's not as drastic as your typical low pass filter sweep, uh, and it also doesn't lose the bass notes and fundamentals like you would in strictly high pass mode but it's very playable for minimal techno and things like that. Here's a patch with a simple sequence. What we hear right now is the sequence unfiltered. Now I'm gonna switch it over so we hear it run through the MMG. Cutoff knob is very expressive in this patch.
You may have noticed in the last patch that when the resonance is turned up in high pass mode, the bass is heavily accentuated when the cutoff is in the lower frequencies. This is to be expected since resonance is always accentuating near the cutoff frequency, but since the cutoff goes lower than the fundamentals of many bass notes, you lose a lot trying to do the same in low pass mode. Here's a quick demonstration of how the MMG handles bass in high pass mode, and particularly of how you can drastically change the patch on the fly by swapping mode from low pass to high pass. Basically, we have a sawtooth wave, which I've run, run through the stg.com to extract a square wave two octaves down. It's mixed back in with the original sawtooth before it goes to the MMG. So in other words, a lot of bass and a lot of harmonics for the filter to work with. In low pass here, you hear the typical resonant bass line. When we switch to high pass, and reverse the mode circuit, we get a different sound altogether. It tends to be more legato, as well as boosting the bass frequencies a bit. Now let's switch it back to low pass, and put a gate signal into the mode CV, so we can accent certain steps of our sequence. Very easy way to liven up this sort of boring sequence. There's what it was without the uh, without the CV then. We flip the mode and the mode CV for the opposite response, we get yet another variation. It'll take a little tweaking to get it perfect, but you have the makings of a very versatile and not too complicated patch. If you're into the classic West Coast silver apples type patching, the MMG with its bipolar CV input attenuators is a versatile hub for giving some direction to random sources. Here we have the Wogglebug stepped outputs controlling the pitch on our complex oscillators, while a lot of derived CVs and clocks go into all the MMG's inputs. There are no VCAs used on audio in this patch, it's all MMG. Small, uh, small tweaks to the bass frequency and mode and the polarity of our CV sources give us a lot of room to develop the patch in real time. Thank you for watching. I hope these videos have helped show what the multimode gate is all about. As always, be sure to visit makenoisemusic.com for more info.